How to create beach photo in Adobe Illustrator in 5 easy steps. Hello, you're watching TNT Tutorials. If you're absolute zero in drawing and Adobe Illustrator, this tutorial is for you. In this tutorial you will learn how to use clipping mask in your artwork, it's very useful and you'll use clipping mask very often. So first of all let's create a new document. Press Ctrl plus N. Or go to File, New. You will also see this window when you're only launching your Adobe Illustrator. Go to Print and select A4. Choose Horizontal Orientation. In Advanced Options, select RGB and click on Create. I've placed this beach photo here so you could have a reference. In your layer panel, you will have your layer number one. Double click on your layer number 1 and rename it to Beach Photo. And now it's time for step number 1. Let's create a base shape of this photo. Let's go to Fill Color icon, double click here and pick a color similar to this. Now go for a rectangle tool, it's over here. You can press M to quickly pick rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. Press V for selection tool. Selection tool is over here. And click somewhere on the background to deselect this object. Let's create a sky and a sun. This will be step number two. Go to fill color icon and pick a color similar to this. Go for rectangle 2 and draw a rectangle somewhere here. We will align these two rectangles right now. So don't worry about placement, you can draw a rectangle like this. Now go for a selection tool, press V, select these two rectangles, go for a properties panel. In align menu, click on horizontal align center. Now you can play with proportions of this rectangle. To change proportions to both sides, hold Alt or Option key and change proportions like this. To create a sun, let's go to Fill Color icon, pick some yellow color. And go for Ellipse Tool. To quickly pick Ellipse Tool, you can press L on your keyboard. Now draw Ellipse holding Shift. Without Shift, you will draw Oval. But we need Ellipse, so hold Shift. And draw a Sun somewhere here. To move your Sun or to change its proportions, go for Selection Tool, press V. Hold Shift. To change proportions correctly and move your sun if you need to. So step number three is creating waves. Let's begin with this one. Let's pick a color similar to that wave. Something like this. And now let's go for line segment two. Just draw a line here, hold shift to be sure that you're drawing a straight line. In this panel, click on stroke and click on this little icon here. This is the color that we've already picked. Now go to effect. Distort and transform and select zigzag. Click on preview and select smooth points. Play with values here. Here you can choose how much waves will you get. I will stop on this value here. You can play with size and click OK. 
Now go to Object and press on Expand Appearance. After this, go for a Pen tool. Click on this point here. Click here. To make sure that you're building a straight line, you can hold Shift. And connect these points. After you connected these points, go to this little menu here and click on Swap Fill and Stroke. Now we will simply duplicate this wave two times and change its color. So go for Selection tool, press V, hold Alt or Option key on your keyboard, start to move your object and hold Shift also, so you will have Shift plus Alt combination. And stop somewhere here. Now to duplicate this layer to the same distance as we did right now, press Ctrl plus D. As you can see we have two copies now and they have the same distance. So let's change color for this layer. This is going to be the darkest one. So click here on Fill, double click, pick some dark color, then choose this layer. And pick a color similar to this. I see that I can make it a little bit brighter. So I will stop on this result. What we need to do right now is to align all these objects. So select them all. Go for properties panel. In align menu select horizontal align center. Alright, so step number four is create a sand. To create a sand, we will use a color that we already have. So, to use this color, go for Eyedropper tool. Make sure that you have deselected all these objects. Because if you have one of these objects selected and you press with Eyedropper tool on any other color, it will be applied to object that is selected. So, with Eyedropper tool, click on this layer. As you can see, we've picked this color. And now go for Rectangle tool. You can press M to quickly pick it and draw a rectangle somewhere here. If you want to align it with another layers, you can go for a selection tool, press V, select them all, but not the sun. To remove a sun from your selection, hold shift and click on your sun layer. To add this layer to your selection, Hold shift and click on this layer again. But we don't need sun selected, so we click on this with shift. And in align panel, click on horizontal align center. The last step, step number five, is to create clipping mask. This is very easy to do. Just click on this layer, press Ctrl C, Ctrl Shift V. Now select all layers except this one. Our first layer is not selected. To remove this layer from selection, I hold it shift and clicked on this layer. To add this layer to selection, I hold shift and click on this layer again. But I will remove this from selection. Go to Object, Clip and Mask, Make. I've deselected this layer by clicking on the background. To edit layers inside of your clipping mask, double click on your clipping mask. And now you can move your objects. And change their proportions. And whatever you need to do. To exit clipping mask mode, double click somewhere on the background. To release your clipping mask, click on your clipping mask, right click, release clipping mask. But your border didn't gone anywhere, it's over here. 
so I'll press Ctrl Z to undo. If you decided to release Clip and Mask and you want to change something or to add something in your composition, after you did this, you select all these layers again. You don't need to copy your sky layer again and put it in the front of all layers. All you need to do is select all your layers, except the one that you don't want to include in your clipping mask. I click on this layer, hold it shift to remove it from selection. And you can go to object, clipping mask, make, or simply right click on all these layers and click here, make clipping mask. Why should you use clipping mask? Because with clipping mask, you don't need to cut your layer and you have better control on your composition. If you decided to make waves smaller, for example, you enter your clip and mask, select all your layers, and simply make them smaller or make them bigger. This is a very useful tool. I promise you will use it all the time in your artworks. So when you have your clip and mask created, all layers in this composition are moving with this clip and mask. So you can change its position. You can even change your clip and mask proportions. I use direct selection tool to move points. So I'll press Ctrl Z to undo. And we have our beach photo created. So now try to create this beach photo by yourself and if you have any difficulties or something wasn't clear enough for you in this tutorial, ask me in comments below. I'm very excited to know what you my subscribers would like to watch and learn, so you can also write in comments if you want to see a tutorial about certain object, tool or effect. Thank you for watching, press subscribe and thumbs up if you like this video, and click on the bell icon if you want to get notifications about new tutorials from TNT. See you in the next videos.